I don't see any survivors here. I don't. I see thrivers. Thrivers. The one thing that helped me a lot were the support groups. And there were two ladies there. One had been out at that time about 18 years from her stem cell. And those ladies are still living. And it gave me the hope that I could live too, that I could survive. To be a survivor is something that when I first was diagnosed, you think it's the end of your life. And what's gonna happen from here? You have doctors that are telling you that you can make it through here. And then the support groups around here are fantastic. Regardless of how long you're a survivor, every day is a celebration. It was wonderful to meet others and hear their stories and how brave and how courageous they are. People who made the same journey. It's comforting and it's also really helpful to find out how they managed with the challenges that you're facing. This may be just a speed bump in the course of your entire life, but the things that we're doing today with cancer it does not mean a death sentence anymore. I love for people to laugh. I mean, that's, that's so great. When you have cancer, you see the fine print in life. I was diagnosed with uh, lymphoma, large B cell lymphoma. I had a lot of church support. I had people all over the United States, friends of mine that were praying for me. And my wife, I, I couldn't have done it without her. Well, having people who had survived and the doctor saying, hey, you know, we can deal with this. We will be with you all the way. That, to me, was the inspiration to start and then the support of family. Whatever you believe, believe in yourself. Be positive and enjoy your life. It's an emotional, spiritual, physical journey that you can't imagine it and, until you live it. It truly is a celebration, and that was obvious today. Mm -hmm.